Chernobyl bore my arms legs. Wow. They told you there'd be comedy here tonight, but did you know it'd be that good? Huh? Okay. Um, I have a girlfriend. Uh, shut up! No. I have a girlfriend. We met in real life. We've been together about four years. A little over four years. Uh, we met in real life. Why am I so out of breath? God, I am just... Ugh. I know that I'm getting fatter because I, I can start to feel my shirts in places I never did before. Does that make sense, right? Like right, like right back here, you know? Uh, my girlfriend and I, we met in real life. Uh, what I mean is we didn't meet on an app or anything like that. And sometimes I get too cocky about that and I have to remind myself that we actually met at a vape shop. <laughs> so, it's like double jeopardy or something. I don't know. Uh, she just got also just a, is are there young people in this room can i talk about how, how old are you guys you're 21 you guys you guys are having sex right is this super awkward no. so weird i'm so sorry uh so i was at church the other day and, um, um my girlfriend just okay i'm so sorry uh i don't know this relationship that usama probably goes into but um, my girlfriend, okay, I'm gonna get through this. <laughs> she got an IUD, and so we started to have sex without condoms, and oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! How is that legal? Oh my god! Oh my god! It is so good, right? I don't know if I'm good at sex. I know that I am very thankful for it, you know? Oh, God, it's good. Can we just do like a collective? Everybody dab with me. You guys ready? On three, okay? I swear to God, if you do not do this, we will we'll do this until we all do this. <laughs> ready? One, two, three. I don't trust that you all did it, so we're going to do it again. Ready? I'll, I, don't, I don't like how silent it is. No. <laughs> Everybody vape at the same time. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, oh, oh. That was a f good fucking dab, dude. Sharp edges. I love it. Um, so we're doing that. Uh, I love her so much. I want to get married. One of the things I want to do, I want to propose, I want to buy a ring. I don't know if anybody's married, but it is so expensive. Oh my gosh. To buy an engagement ring, there's all these weird rules. One of the rules is that you are supposed to spend three months' salary on an engagement ring, and I looked it up. The average cost of an engagement ring in New York State, anybody, 14000 I need to stop and tell you that there are three more numbers, and it does not get better, okay? $14,932. Okay, well, I don't know whose salary that is, but I can tell you it ain't your boys. That is... <laughs> For sure. That's how I know I don't make enough money. Because I heard it and I was just like, wow, okay. Uh, $14,000 sounds like a pretty good salary to me. You know? <laughs> also, the thing I can't get over is just like how arbitrary. Who, it's just a random three month rule, you know? Who came up with it? It's like a bridge troll, you know? Just like, if treasure you want to buy me, then not one month you should spend, but. <laughs> it's insane. I got um, five. Oh, five. Okay, I got five last year. There's a there's there's been a real drop in energy, and I think it's me because I'm out of shape. But, <laughs> but they say you're supposed to go running just for your own health, but I think I might just start running just to get through a six minute set. <laughs> you know? Um, I got fired last year, which sucked. Uh, it was like my Nanette, if I'm being honest. And uh, when I look back on it, it's like kind of funny. I got fired in a meeting, right? It was uh, Tuesday. 
at 11 a.m. I love that they just let me hang around for like a day and a couple of hours. Just let me do some more work. I got fired. Um, I had actually been preparing for this meeting like all morning because I was going to go in and ask for a raise. <laughs> wow. That is a level of delusion that impresses even me. I should, um, I should also mention that I organized this meeting. Okay. Do you know what it's like to schedule your own firing, anybody? Huh? I just walked in. I'm just like, thank you guys so much uh, for meeting with me. I, I called this meeting because I want to talk about the raise structure. I want to know when I can see an increase in salary. And then your manager is just like, actually, you're not welcome here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as a character I'd like to do real quick, this is a dyslexic magician uh, revealing his final trick. Okay, dyslexic magician revealing his final trick. Ready? Da ta! Do you guys get it? Anybody get it? Misha, did you get it? Huh? Little giggle puss says, all right. If you guys don't finish those chips, hit me up. Why am I out of shape? So, okay, uh, this last thing. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> I just have a stroke and die on stage. But the show goes on. The show must go on. Have you ever tried to get smarter, but then you do it in a really dumb way? <laughs> I watched Limitless the other day and I had to Google the ending. <laughs> you guys know that Bradley Cooper movie? Yeah. You don't know it? Yeah. But if you don't know the movie, the whole gist of it is that it's just, basically the premise is just like, okay, you know how we only use 10% of our brains? What if there was a pill that let you use all of it? And then Bradley Cooper starts taking the pill, but then he has to stop taking the pill because he gets sick. But then the last scene of the movie sets it up to be like, but did he stop? And it confused me so much that I had to jump on Google and just be like, okay, was he limitless the whole time? <laughs> da time. All right, I love you guys. Bye.